Hey guys, this is a post-production pie with srlounge.com. All right guys, so now we're gonna go through snapshots on the left panel in our develop module. Now here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna select an image. I'm actually gonna reset this one out because we actually made some modifications to this. I wanna reset it before we move on. Let's go back to this bird image, which is exercise file 1-2. And what we're gonna do is create a couple different versions of this image. So let's first create a color corrected version. So what we're gonna do is adjust our exposure up. We're going to now increase our contrast. I'm going to boost my highlights just a little bit to bring a little bit more brightness into the image. I'm gonna pump my shadows down a little bit. I'm gonna add some pure whites, and then we're gonna add some pure blacks to it. I just want this image basically to pop with this standard version. Now let's add a little bit of a temperature adjustment, and I'm gonna actually take it down to, we're gonna go down to 5600 just so it has a little bit of a cooler feel. All right, now we're gonna take a little bit of clarity, add it up to plus 20. I'm just holding shift and pressing up, by the way, so we can go by larger increments. And uh, I think plus 40 is good. We're going to take vibrance up a little bit. Uh, and we're going to take contrast up just a tiny bit more. Okay, so if this is our basic version of this image, what we can do is we can create a snapshot of it. And a snapshot is basically kind of a recording of this image at any one point in its processing time. Okay, so what we're going to do is hit plus to create a new snapshot. I'm going to call this snapshot basic color corrected. All right, now what we're going to do is create another version of this image. And uh, let's go and create a black and white, white version. So I'm gonna hit V first. And then we're just gonna make it a little bit brighter. We're going to uh, add a little bit more blacks to it. So I'm just gonna lower my blacks to kind of crush it a little bit more. And then uh, we'll add a little more clarity just so we can see a little bigger difference to it. And then what we're gonna do is add this as another snapshot. And we're gonna call this one black and white. Now let's go down and we're gonna add a little bit of split toning this image. So let's go down and we'll expand the split toning panel and that is panel number four. So I'm gonna hit control four to expand it. In the highlights, let's see, I wanna add some, let's add some yellow tones kind of in the highlights. Let's find right about here. And let's go down and let's add some blues up in the shadows. Uh, we'll go up to about, actually let's see if blues are my favorite or if we want a different color. Uh, let's add some reds actually, it looks kind of cool if we add a little bit of reds. So we'll add a little reds in the shadows, we'll play with our balance just a little bit. Um, I might want to leave it more on the, yeah, more on the yellow side a little bit, so we'll take the balance up to the highlights. And that's fine, now we have a black and white split tone version of this image. So what we're going to do is save this as BNW. And when you do this, when you split tone a black and white, it's called duo toning. So we're gonna call this duo toned. All right, so now we have three different snapshots for this image. Now we previously discussed virtual copies and we also discussed what is the difference between a virtual copy and a snapshot. And I'm gonna go over it one more time. When we export this image, the only export that's gonna be uh, exported, the only image that will be exported is whatever snapshot that's applied at the time. So if we have this basic color corrected applied, this is what gets exported. If we have the black and white applied, that's what get exported. If we were to create three different versions of this using virtual copies by hitting control apostrophe or command apostrophe on a Mac and create those exact same versions of the image, all three of those versions would be exported. So once again, snapshots just allows you to basically create different versions of an image and only one of which is gonna be active and exported at a time. So what we've done here is we just created these three different versions. If I want to, I can cycle through them. I can also go back and see the original by hitting the backslash key and we can see the original before image. Now let's go over a couple other options that we have with snapshots. And I'm gonna click on this black and white duo toned and I'm going to right click on it and we have a couple different options here. We understand what the rename is, that just helps us rename the snapshot. We know what update with current settings is, that just allows us to take our current settings from whatever we've adjusted and update this snapshot with the current settings. And we also know what delete does. But what does this copy snapshot settings to before do? Well, what this does is if you guys remember, we can hit the uh, backslash key to see the before version of any image. Well, if I update that copy snapshot setting to before, then what it does is it sets this version of the image as the before uh, image. So now if I switch to this black and white version and I hit backslash, I'm actually comparing it to that black and white duotone image. So it's another way that you can adjust that before image and maybe compare two different versions of an image just by hitting backslash and kind of flipping back and forth between the before and the after. Alright guys, so we're going to delete out all three of these snapshots. We can do that by either right clicking and hitting delete or we can just hit the minus button three times on each one of these. And now we have removed all of our snapshots. We can hit reset to take this image back to where it was when we first started. 
and let's move on now to the history panel.